Today, the FDA made the announcement that it had voluntarily requested that Allergan remove certain types of breast implants from the market in the United States. This is in a response to a growing recognition that there is a rare but very treatable form of lymphoma that is associated with certain types of breast implants. These are specifically breast implants that have a textured surface. The rate of this implant-related lymphoma is very low. However, the, rec the FDA has recognized that there is a risk for women in the United States and has asked that Allergan voluntarily remove these types of devices from its inventory. This means that the FDA is asking that Allergan no longer provide these types of implants to surgeons or hospitals for them to be utilized in patients. The FDA is not recommending that patients who currently have these types of implants in place have them removed. So this is a step that the FDA is taking in order to prevent these types of implants from being utilized in the future. Again, these are textured surface implants made by the company Allergan. In the United States, the use of textured implants is less than 10%, and the risk of developing this implant-related lymphoma is very rare. However, the FDA felt that this was a necessary precaution to protect patients from future risk. Women who may have breast implants in place currently are not being asked to have their implants removed at this time. Again, the risk of breast implant related lymphoma is very low. There are less than 575 cases reported worldwide. However, the presentation or the symptoms associated with this breast implant related lymphoma can be a painless swelling of one or both breasts. This is typically due to the presence of fluid around the implant that is produced by the capsule or the scar tissue that a woman will make after the insertion of an implant. The treatment for breast implant related lymphoma is very straightforward. It is simply to surgically remove all of the capsule and the textured surface implant. That's the treatment. At the same time, an implant with a smooth surface can be inserted at the same time that the textured surface implant is removed. If you have questions about breast implant related lymphoma or concerned about what type of implants you may have in place, please contact your physician. If you are concerned that you may have developed symptoms or signs of breast implant, re re breast implant related lymphoma, we recommend that you um, seek um, an evaluation by an experienced surgeon and understand the treatment is surgical removal of the capsule and the terrestrial surface implant. Um, I know that this has created a lot of confusion and anxiety and concern for patients. I would like to reassure patients that the FDA and the plastic surgery societies and the plastic surgery community as a whole is vested in the safety of our patients. We want to make sure that you understand um, the very small risk for the development of this um, particular disease and that that is highly curable if treated properly and diagnosed early. All women with breast implants, regardless of the type that they have, should be having an annual breast exam by a qualified uh, medical professional, um, preferably um, evaluating the breast tissue for any signs of cancer uh, by a primary care physician or an OBGYN, and then any specific implant-related potential complications, um, they should be evaluated by a plastic surgeon. So I hope this gives a little bit more information about the FDA's um, notice today. Again, the FDA is announcing that it has asked Allergan specifically to remove the textured surface devices from the shelves of hospitals and doctor's offices so that no more of these types of implants can be inserted in the future. The FDA is not suggesting that women who have these implants in place should undergo surgery to have the implants removed unless there is a medical indication for that. So 
Again, it's a lot of information. It can be very overwhelming and very confusing. We um, um, hope that patients can reach out to us if they have questions. We'll be happy to answer their questions over the phone and schedule them for an appropriate examination. More information can be found on the Plastic Surgery Society websites, surgery.org and plasticsurgery.org.